did you say that the wife gave you documents that indicated that the wife owned some of the property? What documents so just, were they? It was a leasing agreement that she had that the living room set was in her name. That was the only thing she took was the living room And that set. was the only thing you gave her? That was the only thing I gave her. All the other items I do have. Thank you. Were you incapacitated at the time that the defendant went to take the property out of the, yes, out of the home? See, that's what I want okay, to do I just, explain the okay. timeline. Yes. Discharge the hospital the 21st. Service was on the 21st for my daughter. I received a phone call from Brittany stating Jane wants to get in the house. She's doing da 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 da, da. You know, everything she can to get in. So we need to hurry up. So then because you did not want Jane, a, you didn't want Jane to get the property either. I don't care if Jane get the property. I That's, actually, before that incident, we asked her and had a conversation with her to let Jane have the home and everything in it. But she kept saying she didn't want her to have anything. All right, anybody have any other questions? Then we're going to excuse the parties while we deliberate in this matter. Thank you. Thank you very much. This courtroom is now in recess. It's sad and tragic all Isn't around. It? I don't see a basis for a recovery. I don't see an agreement. They established nothing before the defendant took the items. At best, they were hoping that they would either sell them, and I, I understood the defendant to say that we were gonna post them on Facebook market she or said it, you know, yeah. post them online, and that the plaintiff was going to enjoy the benefits of this. The only concern I have is, and I also feel that there was no agreement prior to the defendant taking the property, but the plaintiff was not in a position to do that. She was bedridden at the time. I feel like she said, take what you want, we'll figure it out, I can't do it now. Mm -hmm. And then I think what bothered me more, and I thought might have bothered the plaintiff, is the defendant didn't even want to keep the property. She was going to sell it, that what she didn't want, and then she was going to pocket the money. So why would the plaintiff give up the property for her to sell when she could have sold it? I, I understand what you're saying, but you're doing it on the assumption that the plaintiff had legal right to the property to begin with. The law says that it is the wife's stuff. So even if I did see some agreement between the plaintiff and the defendant, which I don't, I don't know that the plaintiff would have standing <clears throat> to make that agreement. I have a point, almost consistent with that. When the wife went to her home and said, this is what I want back, she basically gave her the property. That if we take sense. that, if we say this was marital property, in an order to the benefit of the wife, the wife saw what the defendant had and said, I only want this back, you can have the rest of I our think stuff. That, then that kind that's of... That's exactly what I said. Yeah. Or what I meant to say, <laughs> and you I am sorry, I didn't, I didn't so, get it that way, but that's, think, that's kind of... Right. We're unanimous and dismissing. Yeah. Mm -hmm. right, great. I don't know what kind of hope there is for the two of you to find peace, but I hope you find it. In terms of the legal case, Ms. Stafford, we're unanimous in finding that we must dismiss your complaint. You just haven't met the legal standards for us to hold your niece liable. Okay. We don't see evidence of an agreement, of a meeting of the minds as to what she was supposed to take and how much she was supposed to pay you and when she was supposed to pay you. If okay. anything, the evidence seems to suggest that it was in everybody's interest to get the items out of the home because her home needed to be cleaned out so there'd be no further liabilities on the estate. Mm -hmm. Frankly, with respect to your late daughter's wife, it was her stuff. The record actually indicates that she said to your niece, this is what I'm taking, the dining room, the rest of it's on you. Okay. So we must dismiss your case. Okay. We do wish you some peace. Can and I just say one thing? You please? sure can. I am starting a nonprofit to honor my daughter. It's in its infancy, it's being developed. Uh, I do want to serve persons who have blood clotting disorders and heart disease. And when I get that up and running, I certainly want to submit that just so you guys can see what an amazing person she was. That is a, a beautiful yeah. thing yeah. to do, and that's Absolutely. a beautiful way to honor her memory. Thank you. And we wish you the best in that. Mm -hmm. And for you, ma'am, we wish you the best. We hope that you and your family heal, and maybe the two of you will heal back together. Who knows? Sometimes the universe works in strange ways. Good luck to everybody.